guys welcome back to my kitchen this is Linda well um, pull up a chair and we'll get started on this recipe this is um you know we're in football season and uh, on a game day I usually try to make something a little different so we're gonna make some jalapeno cornbread but it's also gonna have um, cheese and um, onions and cream corn in it besides the jalapenos. I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees. I've used a 10 inch skillet, black iron, cast iron skillet, but if you don't have one just use an oven proof skillet 10 inch. There's a cup and a half of uh, my favorite Martha White buttermilk cornmeal mix in here and there's just a little bit over um, A half a cup of onions. Now I got some jalapenos in here. They're not really very hot so I'm just gonna dump them all in. I don't know how many that was. Maybe that could have been a half a cup. Plus I got some cheese over here. What I'm using and I'm only using it because it's already been opened but this is uh, Monterey and Colby Jack cheese probably about a cup. Come on out of there. And I'm going to add, well that is stuck in there good, isn't it? I'm going to add um, two eggs. I got a little bit of um, oil in my pan, in my pan that's in the oven because I'm eating that up to heating that up together. I got two eggs going in here. Got me a spoon. I'm gonna pour in some of this cream corn. I don't know if I'll use the whole can yet but we'll see. And I had to use a bigger skillet because there's a lot of stuff going in this. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to use the whole can. Now, because this is going to be thicker than, uh, you know, a normal cornbread, I don't really know how long it's going to take. I'm going to say between 25 and 30 minutes. So I've got my eggs, my jalapenos, my corn, my cheese, and my onions, and the cornmeal mix. And this is pretty thick. However, I'm still going to add just a little bit of buttermilk. Let me get that out of the fridge. And I can already smell that skillet. So I know that it's heated up. Yeah, I always like to heat my skillets till they're um till they smoke. Maybe that'll be enough. I just want to show you a consistency. Here we go. Yeah. Maybe I'll just add the rest of this. I don't know. Maybe. That's about all of it. So, all right. This is the consistency. Excuse my counter. I got a lot going on. I usually do on game day. I try to make it special because because I like it so much. <laughs> All right, here's our consistency. I'm going to take the skillet out of the oven. I'm going to put this in. It should sizzle. <coughs> and when I come back, Sam is going to taste test it and I'll let you know how long it took. Well, gang, our 
Mexican cornbread is what I'm going to call it, is done. And it took between 25 and 30 minutes. And I just got it out of the oven. Oh, it's piping, piping hot. I think I got all the way through. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> No, I didn't. I still didn't get through. Here we go. Sam's sitting right here. Of course, his eyes are glued on the TV. And I'm trying my best. Woo! Because it is so hot. Mucho caliente. What does that mean? Very hot. <laughs> Absolutely. I've got, um, I also fixed some hamburger stew. And it's delicious, y'all. Look it up on my channel, hamburger stew. And here is the Mexican cornbread and it's moist and delicious and I think you'll love it. So I'm going to give it to Sam and here you may need a fork to try that cornbread. Well, it is hot isn't it? Yeah, I don't know much Spanish. I know mucho caliente is very hot. Mmm, muy bueno, muy bueno, very what? good. What was that? Muy bueno. Uh, onions, corn, cheese, jalapenos. This would make a great change from just regular cornbread. Also be good in the fall and winter too with that heat in it. Well, we're right at fall. And, yeah, we'll be and, and see, it kind of goes along with that hamburger stew, hamburger soup right there. Right. Well, the cornbread is absolutely delicious. Do you need any butter? Well, I just like a little butter on it, but it's, it's plenty moist. Plenty moist enough. Does it have a good taste to it? Muy bueno. Use English. <laughs> Use English, Sam. Very, very good. It's delicious. Yeah, and especially, you know, it's just a a welcome change occasionally from regular cornbread and then when you go back to your you know your usual cornbread it'll even taste better because but this is just um, they probably eat this in Mexico here you go guys is that not a beautiful sight look how moist that is oh it's super moist you can use butter but honestly you don't need it you recommend this cornbread? Oh, absolutely. Try this. <laughs> Promise you'll like it. Okay, Sammy. Thank it, you. You know if they like. You know it's got a little heat with the hot with the jalapenos. But not much. But uh, no, it's not overwhelming. Okay, guys, we're gonna get back to the ball game. Thank you for coming in today and spending a little part of your day with me. It means a lot to me. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. There's really nothing to it. It's probably about a half a cup of everything except the onions and the cheese may have been between three quarters of a cup and um, the onions were between a half a cup and three quarters of a cup. The jalapenos, half a cup. So, and I told you I used a cup and a half of the Martha White buttermilk cornmeal mix. Oven at 400. Heat the pan up in the oven with some oil in the bottom. When it starts to smoke, you, oh, and two eggs. And when it starts to smoke, then you put your, your um, mixture in there and 
and this took between 25 and 30 minutes. So uh, until next time, you all take care and God bless.